This college basketball picks edition of the Sports Gaming Podcast is brought to you by Bet365. Bet365 is offering new users a thousand dollar no sweat bet. Sign up today at sportsgamingpodcast.com slash bet365. We're also ready by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research flat platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com and use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Hey, this is LeGarrett Blunt, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening, Cram? Dog. I feel like we're going to get the daytime crowd. Yes, we are doing uh, college basketball picks early, college football picks early. Turn off Dr. The, Phil. Because of the holiday. Uh, well, unless you're watching my episode, uh, hijacking your episode. pleasure centers. <laughs> uh, still turn off Dr. Phil. Be present. Joining us here from the college football and basketball experience, Colby Dan, AKA Pick Dundee. What's happening, Colby? Feast week, gentlemen. Feast week. Now what, explain what? explain uh. feast week. Uh, College basketball tournaments just scattered through. They call it Feast Week on ESP uh, on ESPN these days. Uh, Why'd your energy so go down when you you're said supporting that? corporate well, gambling, Colby? Well, I'm not a big fan of that uh, that shabby that shabby network. Besides them covering these games, um, <laughs> no, uh, no, I, 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 I like this Feast Week. Act, Feast the other week four angle, letter yeah. network. Yeah. Okay. It's no SGPN. You know what I mean? Can't I can't find the bottom line bombs yet on. Uh, on ESPN, and that they're suffering because of that. Well, that's because they, they, you know what it is. What's that? They're afraid. They they're are. afraid of the bombs. They are afraid. Of we the bombs. are. I mean, uh, we are <laughs> on an insane, insane run with our picks right now. Colby, myself, and Kramer each individually are seven and one on our locks for eighty-eight percent. Is that good? <laughs> yes. Ryan sixty-four percent overall. I'm seventy percent. Colby sixty-six percent. But really. Uh, the consensus plays, aka uh, the uh, the opposite of Discord, would be twenty one eight and one. So if all you did was just bet the stuff that uh, Colby, myself, and Kramer agree on, you'd be hitting at seventy two percent. Like so, tough year for the Discord. Oh tough year for the not Discord. Good football we are either. just uh, starting out red red hot. Benedict Dantold in the chat. What's up, my first touchdown gods? Yes, if you missed it. Oh. Kramer and I both uh, uh, gave uh, out Josh Oliver first touchdown. Oh my god! I think when we when we picked it, it was thirty eight to one. Uh, but you know, judging from people slips, most people who tailed it got it like fifty, all the way up to sixty to one in some spots. Uh, and I do think they're starting. I I, I caught a little. Um, y- you you play four guys and you're celebrating. <laughs> Uh, again, must, I only played three guys. Must yes. not listen to the show. Yeah. I've, I've been. How long have I been doing this, Sean? Well, some say, some might say I pioneered this system. Well, I think at, at least last year, if not, I mean, when did we officially start doing them? I feel like last year really was the breakout year, but maybe even before that. Oh, it's been multiple years. Uh, thanks for noticing. Yeah, no, I, it's it's a clear like. All right, so we hit a sixty to one, yes. or maybe it was a thirty to thirty eight to one. Maybe it was a fifty to one. Some say you're the Alexander Graham Bell of the SGPN. <laughs> Yeah, you split that four <laughs> ways. You're still hitting a forty point dog on a Saturday. Yeah, I mean, e- even if, just take Josh Oliver and I couldn't Ro- believe it, Sean. Ronnie Bell that I gave out earlier and divide that by yeah. Even you if you're what? giving out three or four, eight, fifty to it's one, forty now, to Sean. one. The the I'm, you got I, yourself covered. the props the prop sheet the the never gonna build it records oh. tab just because this person <laughs> all it takes is one person one to person me rubbed off. Ryan the wrong way. Uh, so it's like look. I, the one thing actually dominating the world in. Yes. I would say we're the best show in the world at oh. picking first touch. Oh, let's Whoa. go. Some uh, say you're the Samuel F. B. Morse. Find me another AKA one. Morse code. You know well, what I mean? I, I, of, I thought uh, you were about to go a crypto angle with that. With that. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, yeah. Get me, get me another show that does uh, better first touchdown work. They can't do it, Ryan. And hey, if you're betting on these first touchdowns, why don't you go over to Bet365? You can use the sign up link in our bio. You can scan the QR code on YouTube 
or you can go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash bet365. Get yourself a thousand dollar no sweat bet. Or if you're a big dog, or if you're a little dog, no shame in little dogs. You can bet five dollars, get one fifty in bonus bets as well. Perfect. I mean, the bonus bets are great for first touchdown, uh, DGEN's only parlays, all that kind of long shot stuff we give out. Perfect way to get started. Bet365, great support, uh, great live lines, great props. They really are a great book. Highly recommend using them. Trusted by over 88 million players worldwide. Uh, and of course, the profit boosts, you cannot beat it. Just go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash bet365. Problem gambling, call 1 800 Gambler. We're also brought to you by Little Caesars, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. Taping this on a Monday, which means Monday night football. You know what goes with Monday night football? Eagles bringing home a W. That's right, Little Caesars Pizza Pizza, the official pizza sponsor of the NFL. You got to go to youtube.com slash sports game and podcast. Enjoying all the random photoshops you've been sending in of Kramer's head on uh, Caesar himself. Just some great Italians who enjoy great pizza. And of course, the pepperoni piled high with the pretzel crust. The salt pairs perfectly with the cured Italian meats. Delivery or our in store pizza portal pickup. Grab some friends and enjoy a few slices during the game. Little Caesars Pizza Pizza. Do you know I made a comment uh, in in the context of me having to defend Italy, like I like how 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 the muddy have fallen, like they used to rule the world, and now I'm defending the the great name of Italians. Oh, the, they someone the did, radio. Right? Someone didn't. Someone did not associate the Roman Empire with the Italians. <laughs> who, who is someone? Who, who not, are you talking it's, about? It's, it's not, just it, like you're at the dent. The it doesn't matter. Doctor's office, like in I don't the... talk to many people, so you can probably figure this out. But it really it blew my mind. So um, Bowser, they may or may not listen to the <laughs> show. So I'm, I'm not. We're not saying any names. Uh, yeah, the Italians once ruled the world. At least that's the way the history invented the radio. Oh, uh, they invented did. the radio. They did on Sunday. They took down the Commanders. <laughs> no, who, who, oh, Tommy who are the be- Commanders? No, oh, man, that not not for long. They won't be. All right, let's talk some college basketball. All right, we're heading to the Bahamas. Uh, we may or may not have boots on the ground, so maybe we'll have some fun inside Iggy, or uh, I don't know, maybe we'll get close and a uh, personal with some of these guys. North Carolina, Northern Iowa, love Northern Iowa. Uh, come tournament time in a typical year. And by the way, we're talking games on Wednesday because Colby, well, Colby, two weeks ago goes, you know, that Wednesday, November twenty second slate is fire. Well, I also want them to know though that unfortunately, we what? won't. Like the Mau the Maui tournament's amazing this year, and yeah. we don't know who will be winning or those fine. games would be on our sheet. And, well, well, that's right, that's fine. But where can people like what would people do? What should they do? Oh yeah, we got the wrong day on the yeah. graphic. I I noticed that earlier. Yeah. It's all right. We got we're, we're skeleton crew this week. It's Wednesday. Yeah, when Wednesday uh, are these games? So yeah, so I think but this slate's loaded, but it's going to be even more loaded because of Maui. The, the yeah. Maui, uh, the college basketball experience live every night, every not, single night, not taking nights off like yeah. me and Sean. Uh, I look, I know a lot of people around the country takes off, take off Thanksgiving. You know, my eyes light up. I told you, I was, I was last night. So, I was jumping into a house because the egg bowls on Thursday. Like I said, yeah. we're beginning of November. I go, Colby. When are we going to be talking college basketball? He goes, put a pin in that Wednesday slate. It's fire. First up, we're down in the Bahamas, which uh, they are playing in a high school gym at best. I, I get it. We want to go to these nice places, but we don't have to. Like, just you know, it'd be more fun. A home and home. Uh, no, play them outside on some t- asphalt. T- like, come on, no, do something. No, no, do, do something gimmicky. I'm on team high school there. Uh, oh, this is weird. Take North Carolina, Northern Iowa, laying a big number with North Carolina here. Uh, Northern Iowa typically keeps a good program. I've not seen them yet this year, Colby. So I'll follow your lead here. Well, they're one and two, but the teams they lost to, you know, close game against North Texas. North Texas is really good. Close game against South Florida. They're they're they're. I think they're going to be pretty good. So uh a little bit of a panic, but at the same time, I think I think they're a solid team. I think they'll be in the mix in the Missouri Valley. They're uh, shooting pretty bad. That was, pretty, that was a pretty they're bad. Shooting day. bad uh from behind the arc, only twenty five point five percent. Good for three hundred and twentieth in the nation. The Ooh. UNC defense has been uh pretty good so far. Uh only allowing what, forty percent from the field. I think the UNC defense could be enough to cover this. I'll take UNC lay in the big number here on the neutral field or court, oh, as you would call it. You're in, you're in football mode, right? There. Yes. That's what that was. Kramer, what are you doing? 
or Colby, what are uh, you doing? I was trying to find follow Colby's lead. Yeah, but, I think you got to go Carolina uh, right now. Yeah, just because no, I mean, Northern Iowa, we got to see them be able to beat a quality team. Or it, at least this line hang. stinks a little bit, though. You know, the line that I set stinks a little bit, Sean. Yes. What do you mean? It's too big, too small. Uh, I even went up a little bit. Oh, the, you thought you you? you, I, think so you is, I think when I is, plugged this into the algorithm, I was getting like ten and a half, mm-hmm. and I was like, "What yeah. about 12? 12 is good. Twelve okay. would be a good. Our number. boy Ken Palm has it at twelve. Oh, okay, oh, so I think it's a go. good number. Yeah, Ken Palm's usually uh, right around there. Ken and Bart, just two uh, two lads <laughs> setting the market. Ten thirty, uh, like uh, like vinegar or oil and water. Those two, don't let them in the same room. It is funny how the analytics community you got you, like if you if you do numbers too long your numbers become lame. It kind of happened with DVOA too as like the open source EPA showed up. But this Bart Torvik guy, he's he's stomping all over Ken Palm's turf. <laughs> they need to have a numbers off. All right, Boston College uh taking on Colorado State, I, another neutral site on here, uh, Kansas City, Missouri. 10:30 on the West Coast. Woo-hoo, yeah. And, I mean, oh my, this game's going on wow. right now too, man. Woo! Love it. I was kind of pissed you guys wanted to record this oh, early. I was watching re- the game. Relax. Thought you wanted to do five in the morning. Boston College, Colorado State. Again, um, have not seen either of these teams play yet. Uh, Boston College, both teams undefeated. Boston College, NC next sleeper in the ACC oh, this boy. year. They pop their head up once every ten years, uh, or maybe once any. I was about to say, might be twenty years. <laughs> Oh, they just had a scrap since with that, Harvard since Skinner, um, and then Colorado State. We know they've been good, a, a, a good program. You know they made the tournament not long ago, lost to Michigan in the opening round. Um, so this game, this game once again, uh, Kansas City, Missouri, good old Kansas City, feast week, guys. See these first test for both yeah. of these teams, like first real, like they both well, played Col- away. Colorado up. State um, almost dead last in the nation in offensive rebounding percentage. Red flag for me. Can you take a team like Colorado State here laying that many points if they're if they're not going to get any offensive rebounds? I think I can. Yeah, mm. I think I can too. I, but but I, here's what I would uh, here's what I would would say. Both of these teams have played a road game, but they've they've it's not been like a, a tough road game. So this is going to be a real test here. Uh, but yeah, give me Colorado State. I think uh, Isaiah Stevens is a stud. We've seen him for a while at Colorado State. He's the difference for me, and also that trip from 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 Fort Collins to Kansas City, not much. Boston College to Kansas City, that's that's something right there. <laughs> yeah, they're private school kids; they're probably pri- flying private. <laughs> Meanwhile, these poor Colorado State kids. All right, I'll trust you on your Colorado State uh, handicap, but I am worried about the offensive rebound. I like that. That's a you're already getting into your micro mm. handicaps, mm. and it's only November. Another or uh, sorry, eleven thirty a.m. here out on the West Coast. We're back in the Bahamas. We got Villanova, Texas Tech. The way Villanova just absolutely handled. Who oh, who was it that we Maryland? Uh, Mar- oh my goodness! I'm we, so mad I didn't lock them up. But was, I, I did hit two of my. Locks. That was a great spot because they were coming off well, the upset and, loss to Penn. And Maryland sucks. That that too. <laughs> I think I think it's a combination. <laughs> like in, in hindsight, yeah, good spot, but man, that stuff. Now, oh. Texas Tech though has Whoa. looked pretty solid too. Grant McCaslin came over from North Texas and uh that defense playing legit ball there. Uh you know, what they hold what game was it? Two games ago? Yeah, the San Jose State game. San Jose State's a decent mid-major, held them to 42 points. Um This is a tricky one because I feel like so Villanova has the offense. Texas Tech's got the defense here. Something's got to give, right? I I feel like well, what wins early? I feel like Villanova is more of a, be- a veteran bunch. So They'll and they're and you know they've picked up where they left off as far as being an excellent free throw shooting team. So th- I think that kind of stuff is huge in these games in these close spreads. If you're hitting eighty three percent from the line, that's going to be something that's going to carry you to covering a two and a half. So I will stick with Villanova, uh, even though they were coming off that blowout win against Maryland. But I I still think this is a short number. And Nova won by twelve the last time they played. So new coach, you gotta let yeah. it work it, its way in. Imperial right? Arena. I, I noticed. The, I noticed the last Texas Tech coach has uh, is now an assistant on the ECU bench. He is, and uh, ECU has to uh, be losing every night. So uh, shout out to that. <laughs> Good firing. And by the way, Sean, <laughs> shout out to the anonymous duck and the mm. anonymous mink. Hanging out in the Get, sheets, getting to see us enter the sheets live. There was a a, a new creature I'd never uh, said out loud before that I was learning the pronunciation <laughs> for. Not here though, so I'm not going to say it. Uh, Ole Miss 
heads to Philly. So Kramer, you're on the Villanova oh, bandwagon. 100%. I I do think like from a high level standpoint, I like fading new programs in these these weird travel spots. Cuz I don't know if you know what to do, where to stay, how to manage this this kind of situation. Whereas uh, Villanova again, coach is still relatively new, but uh from like an organizational standpoint, maybe I'm just making shit up, but Yeah. Uh, Villanova Villanova minus 2 and a half. Ole Miss heads to Philly, take on Temple, twelve thirty on the West Coast. Uh, Sean's gonna pencil Temple in for himself. Mm. Meanwhile, I I don't know if Temple's all that good. Well, I was gonna say they, you know, uh oh, if the if this game happened right after Drexel, I would <laughs> say it's a letdown spot for Temple. But they had already lost to Columbia. That Colum- if you know Ivy League basketball, that was the that Columbia was the letdown is the, spot. The worst program in in uh, in the Ivy. So I think it, I, honestly, if this would have been the game after Drexel, I would have been all over um, Ole Miss here. But the fact that they got embarrassed by a bunch of fucking nerds in Philadelphia, give me the Temple Owls all day here. Great bounce back spot. Who is coming? To, who's gonna mess with these Temple Owls? Nobody. Uh, give me know, Temple plus three. Chris Beard is all right. He is now the head coach of Ole Miss. I was gonna say they're gonna good. defense. Now, now I know. Ole Miss. I think if you listen to our preseason episode on on uh, TCE, uh, we thought they'd be a lot better. But part of that is because we thought they would have Musa Cisse and Brandon Murray. The NCA, the NCA has been pretty. Uh, they've they've turned a corner on denying people. So uh, it was just like uh, Doctor Evil. Like, <laughs> mm, what would be the mean? I'm thing kind of do? on the side of the NCA. Like Musa Cisse. This is like a seventh transfer in like four years. So I'm like, at what point are you just like, hey, dude, are you, what the fuck are you doing? Do they here, have man? a clear rule? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, then make a clear rule, <laughs> then you can stop having these ridiculous waivers. If for now, just let them let them play. Let them play, Colby. Uh, well, I will let I let Ole Miss his, play. He needs to be ten miles closer to his great second, <laughs> fourth cousin <laughs> as he goes through this difficult transition. All I'm saying is all these coaches bitched about it. I don't even think the NCA is in the wrong here because the coaches bitch so much about it. Now they finally do something, and then the coaches bitch more because their players not eligible. Well, this is the problem. Yeah, because this is why these whiny bitch coaches mm. just need to go like have rules or don't have rules. Don't complain about. Yeah, that. I'm on Ole Miss minus three though. Chris Beard, love good Chris basketball Beard. coach. Well, love Chris survived Beard. that dust up in Austin. Yeah, so whatever came of that, they just don't care in Mississippi. She changed her mind. It's easy they, to see a tide turn. They care less in Mississippi. Did than they, they get married? Turn. I wonder. I wonder if that was the deal. They seem like a great couple. Look, I won't say shit if we get married. All right, because remember they were engaged. I mean, you could live in Ole Miss and never be bothered, or live in Mississippi and never be bothered. Yeah, give me Mississippi. Look, Chris Beard as a basketball coach is very good. Human being. Uh you know, well, that's look prob- facts. I would say that's <laughs> probably why he settled oh. in Mississippi. <laughs> Great story yesterday. Uh, so I'm watching the Louisville game, oh. and my wife wanted to know who is this basketball coach for for I'm, I'm sorry, did I say Louisville game uh, for St. John's? Yes. Oh, and well, I go, well. that is Rick Pitino, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then she, away he's from one of those yeah. guys will and then penetration. She goes, why are you why are you betting on him? The other coach looks like he's more like uh, energetic, yeah. right? <laughs> And Alive. I go, I go, well, you know, it's, he's, he's won everywhere. And, and then she goes, oh, okay. He's won everywhere, but, but okay. But, and I go and get this honey. He had this awesome prostitution ring set up in, uh, in, in Louisville for kids that came to that were 17 to 18 years old that wanted to check out Louisville, maybe even 16 where they had a bunch of prostitutes they were introduced to, and they all had a wonderful time. Uh, they were being paid to <laughs> be campus sure Meet and great. Yeah, yeah, you're 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 ex- you're kind of uh, and then me. and then I explained the diner situation. I said, oh, well, well prob- and he had a, a nice moment at a diner. We even did What's a Google worse? image on that woman. What's worse? Um, which scandal was worse? I, I mean, actually think when when the diner situation when that went to court and he came out that that he was only lasted thirty seconds. <laughs> you know what? That, you don't want that. that that's you don't, what, I think that's by far the worst. You don't want uh, <laughs> how long it takes you to come to be a matter of public uh, record, especially see, I, in I the. Know when to come, I might have a hot take. Especially here. in the bathroom of a diner. Highly <laughs> successful people are very efficient. Hmm. I I wouldn't be surprised if this is a more common uh, trait it, amongst very it, powerful people. Dave I Chappelle, got, I got sixty seconds yeah, to come, bitch. Dave, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Uh, had a great bit. He's like premature ejaculation. Oh. He's like, what is that? He's like, every time I ejaculate, it's right on time. <laughs> right. I'm ready to go. 
Beat your bitch. <laughs> yeah, you need to figure your end out. Yeah, it's the one thing in life that isn't a race. Um, Crichton, Mr. Michael Crichton, they're ha- they're heading to Kansas City as well to take on uh, si- the sister jeans. She she's she's made it through Sean's adversary uh, adversity. Oh, you know, she's outlived she's still, so many people. Still going. She threw well, out the first pitch. Remember, much like a lot of these athletes, she sleeps in a cryo uh, chamber every night. Gets that good sleep. <laughs> Her and NTO, sister jeans. That's first probably pitch. the thing where they freeze you forever. <laughs> uh, the hyperbaric chamber is the one I mean. Who would win in a fight, sister jean? Or fifty cent after you watch hmm. the first the first pitch. I think sister, <laughs> they have a similar first pitch. I think pitch. I think Sister Jean outpitched. Uh, well, I would say like cent. let's make it a decathlon and pick ten events, and I, right now they're tied. So, <laughs> well, I don't. Know. I don't even think they're tied. I think Slight Edge Sister Jean right now. Sister Jean better uh, better um, good luck charm for March Madness as well. <laughs> Give her a, a chakra up one there. I, I I would imagine at this point um, how so what's the what's the temperature check on Sister Jean. Is this going to be her year? Uh, well, they got drilled by Florida uh, Atlantic out the gate, and then they got upset across town. UIC, the Flames get, uh, took them down, but since then they did squeak by New Orleans by three. I'm a bit concerned about uh, Loyola basketball, and knowing how Oklahoma might be firing Porter Moser if he doesn't win this year, maybe a reunion in Chicago. Why do these guys leave these jobs to go a off shit and get ton of money? money. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. But they it ends the same way almost every time. Yeah. Like why not stay in the God situation for fifty percent of the money for two times as long? Works Have out a the statue same. Statue built for you. It works out the same. Plus, you get a lot other uh, other types of deals. Well, I think the real reason Porter Moser left is uh, Sean's death threat to uh, Sister Jean. Yeah, he didn't well, care I, for it. When yeah. I asked if this was going to be her I year, <laughs> I was I was wondering if the losses. Like I, at this point, I believe that she is the team, and so the she the lifeblood of the team is also her lifeblood. So if mm. they continue to look like ass, I mean, who knows? Michael Crichton could put the the nail in the coffin uh, on Wednesday. Now, the last time they played, Michael Crichton only won by nine. Crichton, Crichton's a good team this year. I, I'll lay the points. I will lay the points. I think too. you're getting cute if you're taking the points here. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, and I think 11's a little bit short. We'll see what this actually opens at, but I think you got to lay the how, how far do you think that drive is from uh, Omaha to uh, Omaha to, to Kansas Not City? Not far. They're gonna and then Crichton. But are you, are, if you're if you're a Blue Jays fan, are you making the trip? Oh Maybe. yeah, yeah. I guess what else are you gonna fucking be? Yeah, doing? You're, you don't That's even. Loyola Chicago fans, no. Sister yeah. Jean, that'll be about it. What yeah. do they do? They just they strap her onto the bus. Oh, they don't roll her out for regular season. <laughs> they got a tow hitch and they just hook her onto the team bus. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you cruising down the highway. Sister Jean's like wheelchair up. Who is it the who is the politician that strapped the uh dog to the roof of the car? Oh, I thought you were gonna talk about Bobby wait, Pacino's. Wait, that car. actually a politician actually did that. Yes. Wasn't that Christmas vacation? No, that was the, no, no, no that was, was Sister Jean on the roof, right? No, there I swear <laughs> to God, there was a not uh, Christmas vacation, but the original vacation. That's what I'm talking about. Um Oh. I couldn't imagine seeing Sister Jean. Uh, Sister Jean in any situation. All right, during a nineteen eighty three family vacation, American businessman and future politician. Mitt Romney drove twelve hours with his dog on top of the car in a windshield equipped carrier. This incident became the subject of many negative <laughs> media attacks during the 2008. Does it, does it specify what type of dog? Because if you have like a little, a little, you know, Chihuahua, I feel like that's achievable. Yeah, I mean, if it said it had a windshield, I, I, I mean, <laughs> you you guys both have dogs. Would you put your dog up there? I mean, uh, my dog's huge. My wife's so, around. So, so. <laughs> No, That's my sad. wife would not let me put the dog on the roof. <laughs> what about you, Colby? Would you put Would you put mud on the seat on the roof? No, I mean, if you had no. a sweet carrier up there, but my, I gotta my see the cat carrier. could do it. My cat could do it. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, you got You got There's a number of, of steps you got to get to before you have a rooftop carrier for your pet. <laughs> hey, speaking of dogs, have you guys signed up with Underdog Fantasy? Use the promo code SGPN, 100% deposit bonus up to $100, and of course, p- uh, pick them. It's so fun. Uh, especially for college basketball, we got a game UCLA Marquette tonight. I'm going to put Colby on the spot. Laser Stevanovic. Well done. Uh, he's sitting at ten and a half points, <laughs> uh, five rebounds, one and a half three pointers made, seven rebounds and assists. What do we like for Laser? I will go lower on the points. Lower ten and a half points. Laser Stevanovic. For the UCLA Bruins, 
Um, and of course, go to underdogfantasy.com, promo code SGPN, get the 100% deposit bonus up to $100. Can, can, can I say also that the Tyler Kolick higher? Okay, looks pretty tasty. I'm trying to pull it up. I, I'm not sure if it changed between now and last night, but uh, I, but yeah, over fifth. I'm sorry, higher than 15 and a half points. Can you, uh, can you all, can you say the name again? Tyler Kolick. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Dog from Marquette. Dog. I, I, I do love how Sean scrolls to the game with the craziest names to pronounce. <laughs> like, did you, why do you do that want. yourself? I know what the fans want. Why no, do you do that? I to honestly yourself? went to, the game, the latest game to give it the most shelf life. No, I know. I, and uh, <laughs> I have a laser sound effect. So I started with laser and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get to the last name before, uh, but I nailed the pronunciation. You did Thanks. <laughs> Princeton heading down to the seven, five, seven take on. Oh, do you old dominion, Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia. They, they sometimes call this no fuck Virginia. I've heard that 1 PM on the West coast. You you keep telling us how how awesome the I how many times have you heard Ivy League's good this year? Princeton, uh, good this year. Uh Yale, good th- by, by the way, Yale, one of the locks that I cashed uh, on the year already. So Princeton going on the road behind enemy lines. Um, this is not gonna be a pr- pro Princeton crowd. Buddy, the the Ivy is better than the Big Ten so oh, far this year. Oh wow, hot take! What does the Big Ten got? Wisconsin's getting their ass kicked left and white or left and right. Michigan just bad. lost to Long Beach fucking state. Uh, Minnesota's ass. Uh, what? I mean, you go they one still by run one. The Princeton offense. I gotta, Princeton? Be, I gotta be honest. You could probably argue that the Big Ten in football and basketball worse than the Ivy. Look, not looking like a an elite conference that is defining the future of coll- collegiate athletics. I mean, Princeton shoots eighty percent from the line. Old Dominion sixty two and a half. Like, oh, Colby or Sean's in midseason form. No, I do. I'm I'm pulling my, I'm pulling my little nuggets. Offensive rebounding, free throw percentage. Let's go. I mean, Colby to Colby's point, the Ivy League has looked good. Columbia just took down Temple. What more do you need to see? Princeton Tigers laying five. I'm in. I mean, dude, Penn beat Villanova. Yeah, Uh, the Ivy League. The the Ivy's on fire right now. I'm not. I look, I know it's a tricky road spot. This is a, this is not a tournament. This is not feast week tournament here. This is just a old school home, home and home here. Uh, but I'll still lay the five Princeton's a machine right now. Yale's a machine. Yale, Yale beat La Pepe. I mean, you want to talk about a David versus Goliath situation. Truly amazing to take down La Pepe with a bunch of Ivy league nerds. Give me Princeton. By the way, the any chance we get two Ivy League schools in the postseason this year? I mean, can we start if, that if campaign now? If they keep now? playing this good, yes. Can, all right, yeah. get ahead of it. Contact the commissioner of the conference. Explain that we're going to be pushing for two teams to make the the tournament, so maybe Wait, they can help us out. Just make sure no one has any bat soup over there in uh, Wuhan. Oh, you worried <laughs> about a shutdown? They'll cancel. They'll cancel sports. Well, you got to be careful. I think the next attack will not be transmitted via bat, but via bot. Mm. It's going to be a digital, mm. a digital one. So we got to keep the firewalls up. Michigan heads to Memphis, AKA NASA in the Bahamas, 2 PM. Another one of these fabulous Bahama games, Michigan. I, I saw the, uh, while the, the football team is just overcoming all this adversity that they've created for themselves. <laughs> the, the basketball team is uh, at losing the teams. They should not. Well, well, they look good against Slick Rick Patino, but then they lose Ooh, to uh, not a good loss. They lose to Long Beach State, but like I said, the Big Ten's got this everywhere. James Madison beat Michigan State. In you East don't Lansing. fuck around. Yeah. With the, you know what? The West Coast, the little schools out west, have had some nice wins to start the season. Uh, but Michigan as a dog here is somewhat intriguing on a neutral court because their offense is pretty good. I, I'm I'm a little worried about Memphis. Uh, their defense. Or actually, their defense is better than Michigan. They were. I thought you were going to say you're worried about me- the Memphis uh, players down there in Nassau. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might be having some fun down there. It, it, Michigan outscored Long Beach State by 13 points in the first 10 minutes of that game. How do you lose that game? They uh, then get boat raced basically the rest of the way, uh, and it happened. I mean, you look at the win probability graph; it's kind of one of those comical ones. You, you know, yesterday we had Miami and and Kansas State play, yeah. and Miami basically ran them out of the gym. I did get alerted from a DM saying uh, 
Kansas State players are at the craps table and it's oh. two a.m. So I mean, uh, any, any DMs on this one? Wait, so they got craps in the Bahamas? I don't know those craps. It was a poker, t- whatever. Hashtag They're out consuming only. cocktails, gambling at two in the morning. Uh, feel free to send any reports on the gambling uh, activities taking place in the Bahamas. <laughs> that makes Even- me think. I think this is going to be a close game. I'm actually going to go Michigan. <laughs> This is gonna come down to the last shot. You do like no, the fact co- they just lost to Long Beach State, but yes. bounce back. I was wrong to fade uh, Anthony Hardaway. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm roll with Penny. I think I think their I athleticism wrong. can can give them some some they matchup look, problems. W- the game we uh, handicapped w- earlier, w- a couple maybe a week ago, we against Missouri when we, they fucking drilled them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, watching that game, very wrong about that team. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on the train. I don't want to be wrong again. Baylor. Heads to Brooklyn. Another one of these neutral site gimmicks. Uh, this time, maybe you're right, Colby. This really is a fire slate. Baylor, Oregon State in Brooklyn. I assume this is at the Nets Arena, uh, 4 p.m. Uh, the arena that no one wanted. Barclays Four, Center. Barclays Center. From 4 p.m. on the West Coast. Why is Baylor and Oregon State playing in Brooklyn? It's a tournament thing. Yeah, yeah it's a feast it's, week. Yeah, this is like becoming more and more of a thing. These television networks. He's one of those guys who will get penetration. Just getting their hands on college basketball, which is why, which is why SGPN needs to get their own thing going. Um, If this was postseason college, we don't even. That's what I'm saying. You don't even need a big arena. Yeah, just play this Occidental's gym. We can do this, guys. Well, I mean, it uh, big arenas are fun if they're sold out. But All right, hear me I out. can't imagine this Baylor Oregon idea. State game is going to sell out in Brooklyn. Well, you you got a lot these, of a lot of kids from Corvallis uh, uh, making the trip. Beautiful redwoods. Get some cold brew. Northern California, <laughs> Oregon. You carve out some of the redwoods, and it's oh, just a wow, basketball right. court oh, surrounded like by. It. It's like Red Rocks. It's like Red Rocks in fucking Colorado, right? Two hundred foot re- redwoods. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah let, they should play go. a game at Red Rocks. They Rock. should play a game at Red Rocks. Right, We're fucking geniuses. So if this game was being played in March, I would be all in on Oregon State. Yeah, it's not being played in March, so give me Baylor. I'm with you too, Baylor. Baylor's gonna stick it to Oregon State. Oregon State's been living on the edge quite a while. Uh, you know, Wayne Tinkle still doing a good job, but no, yeah. they're the same team all the time. They what? They probably can't score very good. Uh, they're probably gonna play decent defense, and at yeah. the end of the year, their system will be worked out where they'll have enough athletes to kind of maybe yeah, surprise. People. Maybe maybe in conference tournament time, you look at Oregon State, but not. <laughs> Not here in Brooklyn with <laughs> nothing to play for. Discord yeah. is getting loaded up with picks. And by the way, Enjoy uh, Oregon State Discord. The pick Dundee was working hard uh this morning because he's these are all generated from the database uh engine. Yeah. We were we were there. Five Georgia Tech wake up. Georgia Tech uh heads to Cincy to take on Cincinnati, four PM on the West Coast. Cincinnati laying five. Damon Stoudemire, the new coach of Georgia Tech. You know, you we keep we saying he, this. He well, he cashed for us. Remember, we took uh, UMass Lowell on the money line. That came true. Cincinnati. This is actually wait. This is is this actually in Cincinnati? Did that, I fuck this up? I might have fucked this. Oh, up. Oh, you might have fucked this I up. I think I want to say it's a tournament. I think I might have fucked. No, this is Cincinnati. Right. Okay, give me Cincinnati then. I think Georgia Tech's not gonna be able to travel. That's a tough environment. Give me the Bearcats. West Miller's bunch. I'm, so, more, I'm worried this line might be a little bigger than uh, five points. But um, really, yes. If you're giving it to me at, at Cincinnati minus five, I, I like it. Why do you think it's going to be bigger? Is that are you just looking at one of the projections out there? Yeah, mm. I'm seeing some projections that have it as a 12 point game. Woo! So I'll take the minus five here if that's available. I wonder but if I, I fucked I think, this up. I wonder if I had Arkansas Stanford the next game at minus five. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. Okay. Uh, no, no. Uh, I, I think you probably are on the short end, so maybe we should bump this up to like s- seven and seven? a half or eight. Okay, okay. All right, we'll call it eight. I'm on Cincinnati minus eight. Um, are you still taking it at eight, Colby? I am. Georgia Tech's new program. Yeah, this new is a, program. This, and this is a real out. road game. This was like, like I said, you're playing this in Kansas City or in, yeah, neutral, yeah, neutral court maybe. But you, uh, get, they lost Ooh. to UMass Lowell. You can't take them. Oh yeah, we love fading teams from their first true road spot. We got to remind people that. And some of these teams, it will be talking about this same situation in like mid December, Arkansas. Well, and Colby will, will be we pointing out how overrated those teams are. Cause they've been scared to go play a true road game. Oh yeah. Hey, just a reminder. This show is sponsored by better help. Oh, holiday season. Thanksgiving rush. It is uh it's super stressful traveling, hanging out with the in-laws. Yelling about uh, your mother-in-law's cooking. Who's gonna do the dishes? I don't like that stuffing. 
there's so many things to get upset, get worried about, get stressed out about. Better help is here to help. Uh, again, talking to someone, you would be amazed at how much better you can feel. Think of all the uh, amazing athletes that uh, take some time out to talk to someone. Uh, you know, make your brain a little bit better here. It is it is the most important muscle in the human body. And if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Pretty easy. All you got to do: fill out a brief questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist, and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com/sgpn to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. Uh, B e t t e r h e l p dot com slash s g p n, and we're also brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets. So you're looking for a parlay optimizer, uh, breaking down hit rates each by leg, expected probability for the entire parlay. We got you covered with Hall of Fame Bets. All you got to do is use code s g p n over at Hall of Fame Bets, uh, the in the app store or h o f bets dot com. For the website, get 50% off your first month. Stop ending in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame Bets to craft more intelligent, data driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com and use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month today. Start researching, start winning with Hall of Fame Bets. You say you don't like stuffing? <sighs> I, was, I was doing an example of people arguing. How do you feel about stuffing? Me? Uh, I like stuffing, but I'm not. You know, it's not it's not cracking my top five of Thanksgiving. Oh menu my items. god! Really? Get the fuck out of here! You a stuffing guy? It's kind of like the rug ties everything together. Mm. Yeah, I mean, mm. I'll, I'll get a little stuffing. Like if it's stuffing stuff- isolated is often it's not stuffing the if best. it's in the bird because then it soaks oh, up the flavors. Yeah, I, I think also just again, you know, not to shout out Italian Americans, but you know, <laughs> might do it right. You get the sausage in there. You get all sorts of stuff oh, in okay. your stuff. <laughs> I mean, growing up, stuff my stuffing had meat in it. So it, I mean I look forward to the stuffing almost more than I mean I'd say it's a it's a one or two seed in the uh, see this is yeah. creating stress yeah. Colby's yeah. Colby's hyping up stuffing I mashed mean, potatoes I, are right there next to we gotta do one of those I mean? spend fifteen dollar grids on on uh, Thanksgiving because <laughs> I I do think that I would I you I probably there's a good chance that turkey uh, could get left out yeah. of my brain yeah yeah it's 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 actually a little oh, far down I feel like we're doing dessert I, I almost like pumpkin turkey. pie turkey. You're a pumpkin pie guy oh hell get the fuck out of here apple no, pie apple. or bust. okay okay pumpkin uh, pie is great what about uh, that, that you ever had that marshmallow set was it ambrosia no get no? get out anything no? where you're adding uh, sugar you're adding marshmallows to food I'm gonna eat that's not dessert get the fuck out what of about my cr- uh, cr- uh, cranberry love cranberry love uh, homemade stuff or artisanal stuff also love the canned stuff. Mm. Uh, I am. I do not. Uh, I do not worry about where it came from. Love cranberry. You, you know what's better than apple and pumpkin? Pecan pie. I oh. love. Put, put that in your pipe and smoke it. I would agree as long as too much sugar hasn't been added. Sometimes the you fuck get, is oh, this guy over here? You get a little too sweet. I'm not a big. Fuck. I big, mean, big sugar got to him. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just hippies. overly, overly sweet stuff. But you know, there's a give, direct connection with cancer. Give me a and nice sugar, piece right? of mango, some pineapple. Mango. Is that, a, is that a normal thing? Is that no, I'm just saying thing? that's how I like my sweetness. Arkansas. Down Brian doesn't even eat Thanksgiving. He's he, oh, here here in the middle go. of the desert eating sand sandwiches. You know, See, I mean? uh, a couple, uh, <laughs> yeah, a couple of like sterno, uh, st- st- <laughs> yeah, Vienna sausages, a right? can of can like, of Franken beans <laughs> over a over a jet boil. Come on, you can't weigh in on this. What do I look like? Some sort of fucking hobo. <laughs> Uh, my my Thanksgiving meal some, is uh, delicious. Some Thanksgiving you know uh, MRE. Fuck all you. Pictures will be served this oh, okay. year. Wait, and you don't you don't like sweet potatoes because there's a little bit of sugar in there? Love sweet potatoes. Don't need to add marshmallows to them. Arkansas, <laughs> Stanford, in the Bahamas. Pecans? Could you do pecans? Uh, I like pecans. Yeah. Okay. Minus five for Arkansas. Out of the databases engine. This one, it, it, this can't be five, right? Ooh, I mean, this is silly. one where I was looking and I was like, "How is this?" I, I was number crunching this, but I think the fact that Greensboro beat Arkansas, UNC Greensboro won in Fayetteville. So you're saying it should be bigger? Well, I would think it would be, but I think when you plug in the data, uh, Stanford's offense will will certainly look good in the data. Uh, uh, the data that I'm looking at right now, you say data, I say data. Uh, once once watched an hour seminar on data versus data. 
I, I think this is a pretty even match. I, I don't know uh, who you advantage advantage the trip down to the Bahamas. I mean, who who's more likely to be out at the? If we know there's craps tables now, who's more likely to be out at the craps tables? Who pick who? Who pick well, Suey or see, a bunch is, of fucking architects? This is tricky because. Arkansas Great probably has casinos there. If I had to bet, you got the Oaklawn so Oaklawn uh, racetrack right there. Shout out to Wolf of Oaklawn, notorious OTB oh, podcast. Nice, yeah. Sanford uh, did take down CSUN. Go Matadors, eighty-eight seventy-nine early on this. You season. have a. This would have been a great. They also effort. lost to Santa Clara, which was part of our sweet parlay. Yeah, yeah. You, and um, Andrew Luck is. I, I see he's got a lot of free time. He's been hanging out at Stanford football games. Any chance that he, he took the trip down he's, to the Bahamas? You see, he's part of their NIL collective. Well, of course, strong don- donor. This yeah. is the greatest twist ever. Andrew Luck is working into being his dad. He's going to be a commissioner of a league. <laughs> Just wait for it. Uh, right now, his dad is the commissioner of the UAC conference in the see, FCS. This guy can't can't yeah. quit football. Uh. Give me Arkansas minus five though. They just lost to Greensboro off of a loss. This is a fucking lock. Yeah, if, if I was going back and forth, but the the motivation is clearly with Arkansas and uh, Stanford. I think this is they they haven't played anyone like Arkansas so far this season. Now, also one of our favorite coaches. Moo pig, Arkansas uh, minus five. Roll it. How um, yeah. How how's he how's he doing? Who's that? Muscleman. Yeah. Hey, I, can we set the odds on him taking his shirt off? I was going to say he's definitely his whole staff's definitely going to be rocking some sort of <laughs> and floral. Have, get have, guarantee at least one photo to social media where but, they're on a beach with yeah, the shirt off. Right? They have well, pigs in Arkansas or uh, in the Bahamas too. Yeah, they could do a pig roast and he'll be shirtless playing. How the fuck's this guy? <laughs> you haven't heard about the swimming the with the pigs yeah, or something? The ba- right? That's Bahamas. Yeah. The, didn't they call? Isn't that a historical thing? Swimming with the pigs? Yeah. Isn't that in, they learned that in history class? I don't know. It's just some thing they do in the Bahamas. I I couldn't give you more <laughs> info on it. I think a number of the islands in the Bahamas have a tremendous amount of pig and rely on on it for food. 1961, April 17th, wasn't it called that? Oh, that was the Bay of Pigs. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Colby, you're getting your history confused. Get back to the maps. <laughs> you do better at that. Florida heads to Brooklyn, New York for another neutral site gimmick at the Barclays Center. Pittsburgh catching four in this spot. Uh, we've already been wrong about Florida once, I believe. Have, I do could, you guys know about the wagon that is Pittsburgh? Oh no, we were right about Florida. They lost to UVA. That's <laughs> what we need next. The sheet. Eventually, I'll have to add uh, records on the sheet for uh, teams. We've actually been uh, right at, uh, and wrong with Florida games because they whooped the crap out of Florida State. I mean, Pittsburgh's on an incredible <laughs> offensive tear. They have two games where they've already scored a hundred points. I mean, their lowest scoring game was 86. This offense is insane. I, I was foolish enough to say, you know what, Jacksonville plus 17. That's a fucking lock. They lost by 51 points. Well, and that's why I'm scared here that Pittsburgh is a dog here, but I think they're a live dog. I mean, this offense. How can you go against it right now until we see something I'm gonna, different? I'm gonna also suggest. I think. This I mean, one, maybe this is like where you where you get contrarian and go like, well, actually, the numbers telling you. The fact that Florida is still favored, even though Pittsburgh's offense has been insane. I'm moving this to two officially. I'm overruling okay. the Dan. I'm going to mm. add some uh, mm. uh, further data. Either way, Pittsburgh has a dog. I mean, give me the give me Pitt Panthers here plus two. Yeah, wow. Colby, you in? Uh, yes. Uh, eat shit, Gators. Give me Pitt. Kramer. One name, five syllables. Jeff Capel the third. <laughs> Fade job. Give me Florida. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh whooping the shit out of Florida State is is a is a nice outcome. I see them. why Ryan wanted to adjust the line, yep. Colby. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Unrelated, I'm yeah. sure. I, I'm, I realize uh, I need- you know, this is probably closer to two. If this was corporate America, what I would be saying to Sean is I, I think it's time for me to inject myself into the <laughs> the line originating process. New Mexico. He's one of those guys who will get penetration. We're heading out to not Las Vegas, but the little suburb down the street, a couple miles, Henderson, Nevada, where New Mexico is taking on Rice. New Mexico laying a big number here, eleven. Uh, Colby, what are we? Where are we playing in Henderson? Well, uh, I believe it's the dollar. The Dollar Center, Save Mart. I don't know, uh, Wait, whatever. They're, the they're playing at a dollar store. Dollar Loan Center. Yeah. Well, what I'm looking at here is Lou's Diner. Oh, really? There's a diner in the vicinity. Wait, no, no, no. That's actually far away. That's I was gonna say you're going all the way to the north side of town. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
what are we working with here? Diner wise in Henderson. Uh, well, you want to explain to people why you're looking up diners? Well, in Henderson? he's a patina. Oh. Man, let me tell you, when you walk into a diner, you get a class treatment here. All right. You're well, going to get your potatoes cooked the way you want them. Especially patino, metaphorically, especially patino. The in. omelet house. What is the omelet house right there doing? <laughs> the omelet house. Is that, now, is that count as diner? I'm, I'm going to guess that the omelet uh, house might also have uh, a back room where they mm. do the prostitutes. Mm. There's some distractions for sure. in Henderson, you got 30 seconds. <laughs> New Me- you guys have New Mexico lay in 11 because Ken Palm has this at five. Mm. See Colby, Colby wore down. I think there's also a, a wide range right now in the various projections out well, there. And, and well, I think the reason why they had it at eleven is uh, New Mexico won by eleven last year against Rice, but hmm. I don't know. Well, no, I, I'm seeing some some uh, some projections, and I don't. Oh, you thing. know what? Sorry, I'm looking at the. Uh, my bad. I was looking at the Toledo game because I forgot that this is on Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, he Ken Palm has it at nine, not eleven. So eleven's probably a good number. All right. Well, uh, what are we doing here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the eleven. It's not look. New Mexico's fire. Are we worried pit. about Rice's comically bad defense in almost every category? Yes, I mean Rice probably going to get drilled, but they look. They only lost to Texas by sixteen. We think Texas is better than New Mexico. Maybe I'm going New Mexico. I actually, yeah, I'm right. I'm, I'm, I, I think can't. You're right. I, you're right. I, yeah, lay, lay it with New Mexico. I, now th- there's a there's a chance they backdoor this, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna just sit and watch this Patino team yeah. light up rice and be sweating out yeah, by eleven the and entire the, game. And there's it's a lot of diners in Vegas. It's yeah. I was gonna say I'm not worried about the diner handicap in Henderson. That's a long way from Vegas. Like he he's making it. He's either calling it's way t- off the strip. He's <laughs> calling delivery. He's getting that that good stuff delivered down to Henderson. All right. Can either of you tell me a team that plays in this arena regularly. Well, dollar loan center. The only one would be minor league hockey. Oh, oh, a team, not yeah. college. You're saying? G- give me any, any, any situation that's happening in this arena. The John's throwing out uh, uh, minor league hockey. What so about the Aces or whatever? Right? Isn't there a s- women's? Team? Oh, they play in the big arena out there. So oh. the NBA G League plays here. Sean's right. The American Hockey League, the Henderson Silver Knights, uh, and. Wow, they're all knights. Interesting. The Vegas Nighthawks of the Indoor Football League. Uh, wow. All is that sorts because Las Vegas Knights? And this is where the Big West Conference Championship is played. So put a pin in this one. We'll be back at the end of the year. Let's uh, go. I'm with you guys. I'm not fading. Fading Patino has not been, or uh, no. going with Patino has not been good so far, but let's try the little Patino here. Uh, no, no, no. Like yesterday, Rick came through. Did Rick we came through. Not on this show. Not on this Your show. Your boy Dundee came to an well, old lock battle uh, against Beanick. Uh, oh, because oh, I saw no, it was a hundred percent lock battle. No, was that, was that was a uh, fake news. They got a, they got a whole matrix. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like when Noah battles Mac and Colby, he's undefeated. <laughs> I love how Noah leans in. Until really, he, really uh, framing the data. Well, like and, a true, and, like a yeah. true tout. And I, I'm gonna guess Noah's gonna be like these other people that are melting down with transparency and having to explain how picking games is hard, and sometimes <laughs> you have losing stretches. We have to start reading some of the uh, stuff I come across. That's you know what? Yeah. New segment on the show. Yes. No, I'm gamble, sorry. My picks gambling up. is hard. Uh, last game. UC Irvine minus five taking on Toledo. Uh, it's the nightcap in the same uh, beautiful dollar loan center out there in Henderson. I gotta be honest. You see Irvine, these kids they go out to Vegas all the time. Toledo? Oh man. Come on. We're not in Kansas anymore. Come you're not on. you're not worried though about the letdown spot after uh, Irvine no. beat USC. They actually whooped Occidental too. So but yeah, there's a team. there's a game yeah. in between. Yeah. I think that if, if, there, if there was a letdown, uh to your point, Colby, it would have been against Occidental. The small schools of the southeast are football schools. The small schools in the Pacific Coast are basketball schools. Peter the anteater. Come on, we got a thing with these. Yeah, uh, also these like anteaters. Do you think we can get like an like a anteater? Hey, hey, can we set odds on Peter the anteater actually eating ass with like a prostitute <laughs> in, in Vegas there or Henderson? He's gonna he's gonna pay for that service to come out. Right? The it's anteater, not just ants uh, going up that nose. The <laughs> Keep an eye on that kid. <laughs> the anteater was literally evolved to stick its snout into holes. <laughs> yeah, he's one of those guys who will get penetration. I, just saying. Look, it, it, Henderson. It's just a with a phone call, twenty minute Uber. 
Oh, I mean, with transportation nowadays, you might as well be in Vegas for that type of experience. What's Are, really going to be happening in the locker room at the Dollar Loan Center? Well, I mean, here's the problem though. If I'm UC Irvine, I'm ordering up all the whores for Toledo <laughs> and letting them have the full Lawrence Taylor experience. I like that they care that much about this game. But uh, UC, I uh, great team, great spot. This is a smash lock potential. Smash! Speaking of which, time for our locks. Dog and our dogs. Kramer, uh, keep the heater alive. What do we got? The heater alive. I mean, but it's a it's a real team heater. All right, lock number one. Ooh, it's almost a system play to to just sit and fade Jeff Capel, but I'm not I'm not gonna do it. It's a big number. All right, lock number one. Let's go, uh, Chris Beard. Give me Ole Miss minus three on the road. Number two. Give me Creighton. That's gonna be a home game for them. Lady, lady eleven. Ah, oh, sister Jean, you're dog, fading her. A dog realizing. Dog. I, I didn't take a dog. <laughs> Just realizing, <laughs> I didn't take a dog. Uh, so <laughs> what we'll do is, I'll give you a Bahamas parlay. Chuck Kramer over here. I uh, know. Actually, I can't give you a Baham- Bahamas parlay. I'll give you a Henderson Nevada parlay. <laughs> New Mexico UCI. Sorry. Okay. No dogs today. Uh, that parlay funny. will get you like plus two six. I mean, I at least have three dogs. Uh, uh, sometimes you have dogs. Sometimes you don't. Colby, do you have any dogs? Yep. Got a couple. Dog. How'd I do that? You got one. What the fuck are you talking about? You <laughs> got- Panthers, baby. <laughs> Lock it up. Wait, I agreed with Colby on everything. That's the problem. No, I, I, that terrifies me. Kramer or Sean, we're gonna have to adjust some of these picks. <laughs> That terrifies me. Uh, we're gonna have to adjust this. The Discord has so many dogs. We're gonna have to adjust this. I'm not buying in here. What do you mean? To Sh- me, lock it give up. Give me for Toledo. Me. Toledo plus five. Change Ag- that against who? Against is- UC Irvine. Oh my god. I can't have I can't have Kramer backing on my picks. All right. Wow. You scared? Uh. Well, but then no, Colby. Make UCI. Uh, stick with UCI because I, I've I already said I'm locking up UCI <laughs> and I only lock up consensus plays and if you go off it yeah. it's no longer a consensus all right, play. All right let me get we built a house on, of cards on, don't on, be on. pulling Colby, away cards just, just Benedict on wait, your own show wait until I'm done <laughs> just Benedict on your own show yeah I, I'm going UCI minus five and Villanova minus two and a half and for my dog I'm going out on a ledge here because you guys didn't pick any dogs uh, I'm taking Michigan Wolverines on the money line. I was just seeing rice plus wow. eleven is my change. Oh wow, okay. rice! Something's got to change. All right, All right. <laughs> Colby, what do you got? Uh, we are locking uh, Arkansas minus five against those uh, hippies. You know what I mean? Come on, let's go. I haven't had a losing week yet. You're, I mean, you haven't either. But. Why are you getting scared? You can't just back all my picks here. We're doing a show, all right? Uh, well, first of all, <laughs> you backed some of my picks, all right? Uh, I see how you're taking credit for Ole all. Ole Miss picks. minus three is my second lock. The dog is the Pitt Panthers to win on the money line. Let's go. Really? I thought you hated wow. Jeff. Cable. But Todd Golden, he's going to be fired at Florida very soon, all right? Benedictine at his finest. Hey, uh, we will be back here shortly talking college football. Thank you for participating in, in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Six minutes. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stagging the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Five minutes and 30 seconds. Kramer, let it ride.